Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to show you how to put an open-eyed baby in a pram when you take them out so that they look realistic and so that if you want people just to see you walk past and not even have a, th a second look or a think about the baby that's in your pram, they will just kind of ignore you if that's what you want or if you just want them to look real because it's fun to do that. So here are my tips for having an open-eyed baby in a pram. So we're starting with my Bugaboo donkey. I have already put a pram liner in there. That is not necessary, but it definitely adds to it. I have turned the seat forward so that I can film this easier for you. Uh, so that, you know, you, there's not a handlebar here in your way. So that I've just turned it around for now. It doesn't really matter which way you decide to put the pram. Uh, most people have younger babies facing you and older babies facing forward, but the age doesn't really matter. It's not like you can't have a young baby facing you or an older baby, sorry, a young baby facing the world or an older baby facing you. There's no problem with that. So we're just going to pop Isabella in and we're going to... The first thing is we're going to make sure that her outfit is appropriate for the weather. So, it is cold today, hence my outfit. Isn't it cute? It's <laughs> um, it's a cute little matching tracksuit and it's like a velour and I have all of this fluff on it. I don't know where it came from, but it's here now. Anyways, <laughs> so it is cold out, so I want to make sure that she is warm. She does have like little tights and a jumper on her, but I would also put a blanket on her I want to make sure that her coat clothes are comfortable for her and then I'm going to strap her in because I wouldn't have a baby this young in this pram not strapped in. The next thing we want to do is make sure that the straps are nice and tight. So tighten them up to the right um, adjustment, whatever that is, and make sure it's not too tight. I'm going to put it's up to you if you wanted to do just the bottom ones or if you wanted to put the full harness on. Uh, a lot of people with older babies just, I know, do, do the bottom, like my friends just stack the bottom because it's just easier uh, and they get really cranky about having the full harness on. But a baby this age shouldn't get too cranky about it so she can have her full harness on and I'm going to tighten it, make sure it's all good so that looks really nice and fitting. And make sure she's sitting up. Um, right, now we can see she's just kind of, let me give you, go further forward. She's just kind of chilling in there. Um, if we were to walk around with a baby like that, um, or with her exactly like that, people are gonna notice that she's not real. She's just like staring, not moving. So, I'm going to add some toys, I'm going to add some blankets, I'm going to give her something to do, um, and something to look at. So, let's add, because we've got like the green and the mermaid, I'm going to give her cookies. So, I fell down. <laughs> Alright, so now you stay there. I'm going to give her Ariel to play with on the billy bar, so I'm just going to open that, put that in there. So she can play with Ariel, or Ariel can just be on the side, maybe I should put Ariel the other way. Right, I think she wants to play with Ariel. And she can even like be looking at Ariel, how about she just wants to grab Ariel's fin? That's normal. Babies like to grab all these little pearls, maybe. She's holding the pearls in her fingers. Still, she's looking out to space, so maybe we can get her to look down at what she's doing. So she kind of looks like she's looking at Ariel now, or if we just prop Ariel to be looking now, she looks like she's kind of looking at Ariel other hand can just be maybe holding the fin 
if you will just get in there, that would be great. Now, I appreciate if you set a reborn baby up like this and then you go and push the pram and they can move. Like, it is what it is. A little blanket to go over her because I always like to cover blankets. Um, normally, I would give her a warmer blanket. Honestly, the reason why I haven't got a warmer blanket is there's stuff in front of the cupboard door and I don't want to move it. So, because it's so cold, thicker blanket would be better, but any blanket is better than none. Oh, Snow White fell off again. It's all right, Snow, you just gotta live there. Oh, she's making noises. That was not funny to fall so well. Are you done? Okay. All right. So yeah, we kind of want her to look down, but um, I know her head's not going to stay like that. So perhaps she's just looking off at something else over there, but we want her to hold her toy, um, look like she's interested in something else. Another option is you can hang the toy from up the top and get them to look at it that way if you have the hood over. You'd need, I would need to get a pram clip but you can pop that there and then it looks like she is looking at her toy. Hope you can see that. All right, that will keep that in place so it doesn't move. You can still make her hand hold it. You don't have to, um, but that's the option if you want to have the hood up. If you were facing the pram forward and I walked past you like this, I would probably not even second guess that baby. She looks like she's playing with her mermaid, she's holding it, she's happy, the only thing is she isn't moving. But if I was walking past, I would just be like, yeah, baby, whatever, <laughs> like off I went. So I feel like that is a really good idea. Don't forget to make sure that the hair is neat and tidy. Her hair is already neat and tidy, ready to go. I normally always put a blanket on them, if not take a blanket with me, just in case I need to cover the baby over or something like that. Adding a dummy chain is also a good idea, but we don't want to like put too many accessories there if that makes any sense. I'm just gonna put that onto her jumper and she can either have it in her mouth which always looks realistic. It um, helps cover another part of their face. I know that sounds a little bit weird, but it covers up a part that often moves. Their mouths, they babble, they kind of, you know, other than their eyes not being awake, but they're, yeah, having a dummy really helps. Not necessary, of course, so if we don't want to, that can just be there. Make sure that it is not upside down this way because that, <laughs> is going to raise questions so you want to make sure that the dummy is always this way if it has a magnet on it or you can use another dummy that has the teeth as a prop so you can maybe take that one out and just leave that in the pram with the dummy chain if you just want to use it as a prop that is another really good idea to do or if you're really cool and you have two of the same dummy actually i do right here you can just pop that there. You can have one that is the prop dummy, and then one that is the dummy that goes in the mouth. So you can change it um, up throughout the day if that's what you want to do. I'm just going to say that was a complete fluke and or coincidence that I found those. <laughs> I know I have a few of these ones that are similar, but it's not normal that I can just go in there and find them so easy. <laughs> Another good point: if it is a hot sunny day, don't forget a hat. Put a little hat on them. If they're old enough to wear a little hat, pop a hat on them, take it along as a prop, whatever you want to do. If they have a lovey and you don't have a toy, you're welcome to swap the lovey out for a toy. So here is our lovey going in. But can you see how much stuff is there now? So if I had the lovey, maybe I would take the pram toy off or maybe I would put the pram toy down on the side just so it's out of the way and put the lovey in the pram so that it's not so crowded and we don't have like 50,000 things in there. She already has like a hair bow, a little frill around her neck. There we go. A dummy chain. 
um, a blanket, a lovey. Like <laughs> we don't want to pack the pram up so much that it just becomes full and we can't do anything about it. You make her hold her lovey, you can make her hold it properly, you can make it hang upside down like this because that's kind of what they do sometimes is they just hold on to it and they just love it but they don't hold it nicely. Um, yeah, look, it's cute when we set it and prop it in like this. Sometimes they will hold on to their lovies. Not always. So just think of like different things. If you go to the same place often, make sure that you change up how your baby sits because they don't always sit exactly like that, if that makes any sense. I think that's just about everything. But my main thing to take away is don't crowd the pram. So I would probably just take her lovey along as a prop. And I think I liked having Ariel up here. I have too many prams and I don't know how to open them because I've been using another one and then I come back to this one and then I'm like, wait, I don't remember. <laughs> there we go. So that was my favorite look. Uh, she looks like she's just playing with her Ariel. She was holding her, but now I forgot to push her back to holding her. You can even have her over, like she's dragged it over. But I like how, yeah, it looks like she's playing with it. Let me just, there we go, put you there. Her hand is grabbing. Oh, and you can't really see. Kind of grabbing onto the tail. One last thing is to accessorize your pram. So I have a phone holder on the back, which I never use. <laughs> I have a cup holder, which I do use, and it's very handy. That normally stays on it's just that it fell off before a nappy bag normally goes on the back and then i normally have my stuff in the pram that i would be using for the day if you wanted to turn the pram around totally up to you it was up to you which way you put it with a baby that was this little usually i have her facing me sometimes i can't see i can't see at all i missed it <laughs> there we go there we go. Sometimes um, I do have her facing the other way. Except the nappy bag, that is our final look. She has just her basic things. The pram is not too crowded. She's dressed for the weather. Her hair is neat and tidy. Uh, she's got a toy to look at. She's not just looking like into space, like her head straight looking into space. Give her head a bit of a tilt so that it looks a little bit more realistic. And if you walk past, it looks like she's literally just playing with her aerial doll. I hope that this video helped you. I know quite a few people have been watching my video on how to make a toddler look realistic in a pram, so that's why I thought I would make this one as well. I hope you all enjoy your outings and I hope you all get really good comments and feedback from all of the people that you see and really good reactions. Thanks for watching.